Okay, so this is another continuation of my last tutorial. So, last tutorial I made the blocks fall. So when you spawn them, they all fall. And I also made it so that you can right click on them. To delete it in the tutorial before that. <coughs> so, in this tutorial I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to make a durability. So, what I mean by that is, as you can see here, the durability is full, so the progress bar is also full. But if I was to select a shovel and right click on them, as you can see, the shovel durability goes down until eventually, if I just spawn a bit more, get my shovel, eventually it'll become zero in which case I can no longer use it and we'll, I'll also show you how to destroy this as well just this because you wanna obviously have this so let's get into it then it also works with the pickaxe as well just show you that one as you can see that goes down as well okay so as you can see this is pretty much what we're gonna be doing it's getting to the point where it's getting a little bit advanced but not too hard pretty much um, if you didn't under also I'm gonna show you now if you didn't understand or couldn't really keep up with me I am gonna start doing some tutorials on Sarah so if you go to Sarah.com and you search up my profile once it loads I'm not sure what's wrong with the Sarah website, it just takes a while to actually load. Like if I load up Google it loads pretty fast. Anything else, pretty fast. It's just this, it's a bit strange. So if I go on to my profile which is the Eggmaster. And eventually when it loads. Quickly pause and unpause. Oh, there we go. So this is my profile you can see all my tutorials I've only done one right now and you can also see my games which again I've only uploaded one so website comments what the hell huh so placing sprites which was my first tutorial uh, no it, it was my first and second tutorial both put into one pretty much. So this pretty much goes into detail but written pretty much. It's it's the YouTube tutorial and it's written. So yeah. As you can see it's got little um it's got an index so if you was fine on setting up the layout you can just go straight to the script and find out the script. And you can go straight to the end result. and then obviously you can see what you need to do so that's what it did look like that's what it looks like now <laughs> so yeah pretty much what I've added in is I've added in the GUI which is the layout I'm going to be editing that today actually so I'll not do that and I've added in the um, setting the text so that they know what's selected Okay, doke. So, first thing you want to do is you want to make two instant variables and call them pick and shovel and make them equal to zero. You're also going to want to add in the two. Oh, also, I should probably show you as well. On here, you can also see I've added in the pictures as well so if you ever just wanted to create this rather than make it into an actual game you just wanted to make it for yourself so that you've got a bit of practice in it just in case you ever did want to make it into a game then um, you can obviously go ahead and do that uh, also leave a comment as well if if it does actually help you any of my tutorials help you do leave a comment let me know and um, yeah that'll make me happy yeah. 
So yeah, let's you can you can go onto different pages and stuff. It's pretty good. So um obviously you've got all those pictures there. I'll also be uploading these to that same page as well. So you don't have to worry about that. Anyways, okay. So you wanna pretty much set this up like this. Make a box, make a shovel, make a pickaxe. Not the best drawings, but you know, hey well. That one actually looks like a key but a bit weird looking key. Um get your progress bars, just do that by double clicking onto anywhere on your project and scroll into form controls and progress bar. Double click one of them and click anywhere. Once you've done that, just position it wherever you want and there you go. You've pretty much got it there. Okay. So also to set up your selected, just put in the text and put selected there. Make it whatever font you want. And um we'll get into that in a minute. So the two ver um instant variables that you're gonna want on is one on your pickaxe and the instant variable is called do or durability, it's up to you, whatever you want to call it. Make it equal to however many hits it can give before it breaks. Same with the shovel. Make sure the shovel's got it as well. And then make the global variables as well. Pick and shovel. So now then we're gonna get on to pretty much what we need to. So we need to edit keyboard one, keyboard two, key and we need to make keyboard three and keyboard four. Now I just copied and pasted keyboard two one and two and made them three and four. And then I added shovel equal to one and pick equal to one onto the two and one and set them to zero. Same with the one. And then on three and four I made sure pick equal to one would set pick equal to zero and shovel equal to one would shut would shut would set um shovel equal to zero as well as grass and stone to zero and the same on four as well. So if you don't know what I meant by that, go ahead and just look on the screen now and you can you can obviously just see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to keep these tutorials as short as I can. If if I was to do this completely from scratch, it would take longer. It'd take about fifteen, twenty minutes for me to actually go through everything. So I'm just gonna tell you what you need to do, pretty much, rather than me do it at the same time. Because you know I'm pretty slow on a computer. Even though <laughs> even though my life is on a computer. I'm lonely. Anyways. Um next you wanna mess about with the right click. You wanna make sure that you check if uh, you wanna make conditions. What was that? Why is it just done that? I don't care. And you wanna check you wanna make a new condition, check that shovel's equal to one. And you wanna make a new condition and check if shovel if the shovel instant variable due or durability is greater than or equal to zero. It's so pretty much what that means. If it's not, it'll not allow it to do this. And same with shovel. If it's if shovel's not set to one, it'll not do it. And then pretty much copy and paste these two, put them in here, and replace shovel with pick and pickaxe do with uh, shovel do with pickaxe do. Pretty much do. So that's pretty much that. You've got all that set. And now you just need to add in your GUI, which is every tick. You want to make a system every tick. You want to make a sub event of system compare variable grass equal to one. And then you want to make another sub event with stone equal to one, shovel equal to one, and pick equal to one. And the actions are simply selected, set text to selected colon grass, set text to selected colon stone, and so on. So you do that for all of those, and then you just want to have a system every tick again, and put pickaxe durability progress bar. So I named my pickaxe durability progress bar to pickaxe do. So that's what I'm setting there. Pickaxe do, and uh, set the progress to pickaxe dot do, and also with the shovel one shovel do, set progress to shovel dot do, and all that put together makes it like this. Now 
I'm going to add in where it deletes the two things. Now, if you've got, I, I don't know if you can do this in the free version, but if you've got the full version, personal or business edition, um, you can create containers. I'm not sure if you can with the other one, like I just said. So you can create containers. So I'm going to create a container and have pickaxe durability. So when I destroy pickaxe, it also destroys the durability. I'm going to do the exact same with with shovel container shovel durability. There we go. So now we add an event compare variable. No, wrong one. Add an event shovel compare instant variable durability less than or equal to z. At two zero, as well as pickaxe compare instant variable less than or equal to zero. So if it is, then we want to destroy shovel, and if pickaxe is, we want to destroy pickaxe. So of course you could always make them respawn just by going um do, 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 undestroyed and pickaxe. Oi, pickaxe, undestroyed. Oops. And we add an action where we have the waiting time. So how many seconds it's gonna wait before it respawns. So in my case I'm gonna put two. Same with this. This tutorial is going pretty long because I'm going into more detail, but you know, it's probably going to be helpful. I don't know. Um, so wait two seconds. After that, it's going to shovel. No, 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 no. System. Create object. Shovel. Layer three. No, two because that's our GUI layer. Uh, just leave the X and Y for a minute. We'll do that now. Let's just replace object with pickaxe. Okay, so we need to set the X and Y to 21 and 45 for the pickaxe. Oops. Twenty-one, forty-five. And the shovel is at one sixty sixty four. One sixty sixty four. One sixty sixty four. There we go. So now when we do this, we're gonna spawn in a lot of grass. And select our shovel. Make our shovel go down to zero. Wow. So as you can see, it destroys it two seconds later, creates it. But as you can see, the progress bar is a bit messed up. But it created it, so we need to position it then. So shovel, shovel duration. Uh, no, this is wrong. We need to add a new event. Shovel duration uncreated. We want to shovel create a uh, shovel duration. We need to get the X and Y for it first, which is sixty. No, it's not. It's one twenty eight ninety six. So set position one twenty eight ninety six. I think that's what it was anyways yep and the same with the pickaxe duration duration durability am I saying duration all the time or I meant durability anyways um, 
Thirty-two and ninety-six. Thirty-two and ninety-six. Okay, thirty-two. Oop. That wasn't right. Third position. There we go. Thirty-two. Ninety-six. Bam. So now, once again, we just create lots of grass everywhere. Select shovel and get rid of them all. As you can see, it destroys it two seconds later, brings it completely back with a full thing, and we can start again. So there you go. That's how you do that. Um, hopefully this has helped. I know it's been quite a long tutorial, but hopefully it's pretty helpful. You now know how to add durability. I said it right this time. Brilliant. Uh, durability to any item, because you can do that to anything. Pretty much just by using a progress bar and some instant variables and some um, global variables. So that's pretty much that. Most games work on variables pretty much. That's what I'm trying to get across to. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.